Hey guys, how's it going? Apex here, and today I have a slightly different tutorial for you guys. In this video, I'm going to be showing how to create a bar graph within numbers, which is a Mac equivalent program to Excel. The reason I'm doing this new type of tutorial is because not only does numbers come bundled for free with all Macs nowadays, but there are also a lack of tutorials with, with this application, and I thought some people would definitely find it useful. Anyway, once we have numbers open, we're going to select the default blank template and get to work. And so as a test, we'll try and create a graph that compares the sales of two different fictional startup companies. And so in the first column of the spreadsheet, we can list out the variables that contain data. So in this case, that would be the companies, since we're graphing the data of the companies, which in this case, of course, is the sales. And so I can put in comp company A, company B, and then at the top, where we have the slightly darker cells, we can enter in the data horizontally that is going to be depicted on the x-axis. So for us, this is going to be the different months. I'll just go till June. And in between here, we're going to list out the actual data. So for company A, we're going to have, for example, the January income, we're going to have it here since um, in this cell 2-2, it's right between company A and January. And so for company B, we of course have it right under there. And we do that for all of them. I'm just going to enter random data. And then now once we have all of the data put on the spreadsheet, we can just select all of the cells that contain any numbers or words and go up to the, go up to the top here where it says chart and click on it and choose a graph of our, ch of our choice. And then here we have everything neatly graphed out for us. However, I will want to cu customize some of the options and this is where your customizability and creativity comes into play. For example, I want to have a little bit of a border and I want to have a title. The title can be, of course, anything. I'll just put um, income comparison 2016. And then we can also set up different listings or names for the different axes. So for example, with the y-axis, we may want to uh, write down what the different numbers signify. So this is monthly income, and then of course our scale for the number, so millions. And then of course we have all of the months listed out, and we have a legend perfectly set up. And you can customize and play around with the other settings and options, but this is basically where I'm at. I like where I'm at and we have basically a great looking graph and so hopefully this did help you guys out if it did please drop a like you can also subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more high quality tech content as i upload one to two videos a week with a guaranteed upload every friday thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you